Please be seated, says the President. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The President, the lawyer, do you have any observation to make? President, Messieurs les avocats, avez-vous des observations? Your Honor, can I have your leave to address very briefly, very briefly, Your Honor, on a scheduling matter? Pour traiter d'une question ayant trait au calendrier. The President, yes, the Chamber permits you. Le Président, oui. La Chambre fait droit à votre demande. Your Honor, Maître you Werner, give you give um, an order on 20, 23rd February 2009 about the uh, the scheduling of the trial, and on this order you indicated that you would inform the parties at a later stage of the date of sitting days in the week of the first to the fifth of June. Um, can I request, we would be grateful um, to your honours if we could have some indication about that week, if you intend to sit or not during that week, and if it's possible, if you could give this indication before the two weeks of break. And similarly, we would be grateful if we could receive, before we take this two weeks break, if you could receive some indication for the summer, for July and August, simply if you intend to take some recess or not, it will really help us to organize ourselves and try to planify. I'm grateful. The President. Thank you for raising the question. Issue. The Chamber would like to inform the parties on the rescheduling of the hearing, and we will ensure the dates for the hearing on a weekly basis as well as on a monthly basis that we will at least arrange a fortnight or three weeks before the actual hearing date in order to ensure that all parties could attend and could do their research before the actual hearing date to facilitate the discussions during the hearing. For this week's hearing, the schedule which was planned for this week Pour ce qui est du programme d'audience de cette semaine, correct. For example, le programme de cette semaine n'est pas pour un week, mais then S21 nous avons prévu une semaine pour le débat pour la création de S21. Le discussion sur les effets de l'établissement de S21. À ce moment, nous essayons de développer notre calendrier de ce débat pour sûr. So that by Thursday morning or afternoon this Thursday, we will issue the rescheduling for the end of May as well as for the month of June, and subsequently the Chamber will ensure the sitting dates and the rescheduling for each fact, also for the listening to the testimonies or the witnesses. We will issue those accordingly, but we cannot provide an actual total scheduling of the hearing. And actually, the last few days we have been working on this matter, whether we can keep or maintain our scheduling, or whether there's only some remaining issues that need to be pushed further into the following week or the third week of May in order not to make it, not in order to justify the scheduling. Mr. President, I'm grateful for that. And the only thing I could add if, if, is if in principle, if in principle you can tell us for the summer, uh, of course, we are not asking for a detailed schedule. I perfectly understand your point. But if, in principle, you can tell us if you intend to take any recess or not for July and August, that would just help us, give us some indication. But I perfectly understand that you will give a detailed schedule only two weeks or so in advance. I do, I do understand this point. I'm grateful.
pour nous permettre de nous organiser en conséquence, bien évidemment, je note que vous allez nous communiquer un calendrier pour, euh, sur une base hebdomadaire, voire portant sur les deux semaines à venir au fur et à mesure du déroulement des audiences. Le Président, nous vous remercions aussi sur ce matériel, mais en principe, nous avons déjà informé le informé de la réunion de la réunion de la réunion. Et nous vous informerons du calendrier we, des we, audiences at the moment, we à l'heure actuelle. Nous sommes sur quatre jours et nous laissons un jour pour les juges pour discuter sur les remaining issues. Nous euh, réservons une journée so pour traiter les questions of, and if it's, en suspens. Si c'est un jour de congé, le court ne va pas être congé. So in general, we will have one day of a week, in a week, to discuss, and we will not sit. And this is for us to experiment. And based on the last few weeks, we have come across certain issues. Sometimes we had to adjourn in order to discuss on the pending issues to find proper solutions to those requests raised by concerned parties. So we can foresee in the future if there are numerous issues. Issues, as what we have uh, come across so far, then we, there would be amendments or changes to the scheduling, or probably to cut down the sitting days to only three days per week. But in general, the court will notify on the scheduling of the hearing, and we will inform all the parties. Et nous tiendrons informés des parties concernées. Et nous verrons si la Chambre siégera à tel ou tel jour. Par exemple, nous aurons donc l'audience, les audiences seront suspendues du 1er au 15 mai. Le Président poursuit. Nous allons laisser la parole désormais aux coprocureurs. Nous allons laisser la parole aux coprocureurs. Monsieur le Président, puisque nous sommes sur des questions de calendrier et avant que nous poursuivions le débat de fond, je souhaitais respectueusement informer la Chambre que je dois quitter Phnom Penh ce soir et que je ne serai donc pas là demain et après-demain. Attending court tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Hier soir, au téléphone, le juge de la mise en état, en anglais pretrial judge, du tribunal spécial pour le Liban, en vertu de la règle 17 du statut du tribunal spécial pour le Liban. Le juge de la mise en état tiendra la première audience de ce tribunal demain à l'AE pour décider de la prolongation de la détention ou de la mise en liberté des quatre généraux actuellement détenus. Je vous rappelle que ces détenus soulèvent l'irrégularité de leur détention. Le juge de la mise en état a donc décidé de tenir sans plus tarder son audience et en ma qualité de chef du bureau de la défense, ma présence est requise. Je vous remercie de bien vouloir donc excuser mon absence et étant donné la brièveté du délai, je n'ai pas pu faire venir ma remplaçante, mais mon confrère maître Karsavout m'a indiqué qu'il voulait bien tenir cette audience pendant ces deux jours. Naturellement, je serai présent à la reprise au mois de mai. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The lawyer for party civil party group three. The floor is yours. Monsieur l'avocat du groupe des partis civils numéro trois, je vous en prie.
Président, merci de me donner la parole, ce sera très bref. Je voulais, c'est le sens de ma première intervention, appuyer évidemment totalement ce que vient de dire mon confrère Alain Werner. Vous avez répondu à sa préoccupation. Je me permets d'ajouter néanmoins que lorsque nous présentons That when une telle demande à we votre chambre, ce n'est pas pour un simple problème de confort. C'est évidemment pour un problème de préparation de dossier et so de that temps can nécessaire our case à l'examen des pièces telles que l'audience aura été programmée pour que nous soyons en phase According to the avec une telle audience. J'ai cependant, Monsieur le Président, une deuxième Mr. question. President, I have a second question. Lorsque nous nous sommes quittés le When jeudi 23, the 23rd, votre chambre nous a annoncé que l'audience de l'après-midi était supprimée that the afternoon dans la mesure had been cancelled, où, disiez-vous, vous deviez said, vous réunir pour prendre une décision to sur l'utilisation ou la non-utilisation des documents de DCCAM. Of DC CAM documents. Vous nous aviez annoncé que votre décision serait portée à notre connaissance lundi 27, c'est-à-dire hier. Made known to us on Monday, the 27th. Nous that allons nous quitter jeudi soir prochain pour un long moment d'interruption. Il me paraît là encore Thursday indispensable pour une bonne organisation It de nos dossiers que nous sachions par civil ou défense, et il est important que Maître Roux le sache aussi avant de partir, si, oui ou non, vous savez que j'ai la fâcheuse habitude de poser mes questions de la sorte, oui ou non, nous utiliserons ces documents, ou si nous devrons euh, attendre une décision ultérieure. Voilà le sens de ma question, Monsieur le Président. Je vous remercie. Thank you. The President, thank you for raising the issues. I would like to inform you that the Chamber, in our discussion and Decision, and probably there is a mistake uh, in my speech or in the translation regarding our decision that needs to be rendered on Monday yesterday because the issue is complicated and long, which required a long written decision referring to various rules and, and orders and some international jurisprudence. That's why it requires a detailed discussion. And after that, we need to calculate the translation and the time for the translation. So the purpose of such discussion is to have an opportunity to discuss other principles which are the basis for our decision, and secondly, so after that we would work on that document, and then it requires to be translated. Therefore, their decision will be announced after our return from the recess, that is, in the third week of May. This is according to the uh, scheduling and the timetable that it requires the document to be uh, properly translated on a separate issue because of our urgent arrangement during the, the hearing and discussion on the other facts which are complicated. We need to work on this particular matter first 
So that parties can raise other relevant documents based on the chamber's decision. So there might be a misunderstanding on this uh, topic. For example, when you said that it needs to be rendered and announced on Monday yesterday, it was not. Je pense qu'il y a quelque chose qui n'a peut-être pas été compris de votre part lorsque vous avez dit que cette décision devait être rendue lundi, à savoir hier. Merci, Monsieur le Président, de votre réponse. J'ai bien noté la complexité de ma question. J'ai bien noté votre réponse. Elle me permet, pardonnez-moi, elle me permet de rebondir sur une deuxième difficulté. Qu'en est-il de la question posée relativement au problème de l'interprétation de la traduction Dois-je comprendre que votre décision sera rendue au même moment. That your decision will be rendered at the same time. No, here's a no, president. Le president. That was a request by a party, and the chamber took note of it, and we will make our decision. And it depends on the discretion of the chamber whether the chamber use the right properly in dealing with the administration part of the court. So whether the chamber has its discretion and power to order the administration, and we will make a decision on that. In principle, we agreed on this issue, and that we will we be ready to make a letter to sign it and send to at the administration, and then make a copy to all concerned parties. La communiquer à l'administration concernée et a envoyé un exemplaire de ce courrier à l'ensemble des parties. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai plus de questions. I have no further questions, says Mr. Mr. Cannon. The President. Le Président. Next, I would like to give the floor. To the co-prosecutors, co the co-prosecutors, do you have any questions to ask the accused regarding our current facts? If you have, the floor is yours. Examinons à l'heure actuelle. Si tel est le cas, je vous en prie. The co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The representative of the prosecution office have the following questions Les représentants for Mr. Kangayil, alias Doj. Yes, you have known the Communist Party of Kampuchea decided and makes their decision on the establishment of the S21 office. In March 1976, you became the chairman of the S21 office. During that time, au cours de cette période, and at the subsequent time, when Sun Sen was your superior, and he was also a party member of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Did he inform you the purpose and the direction on the establishment of the S21 office? De la création du bureau de S21 et des orientations politiques que S21 devait suivre. The accused. L'accusé. Thank you, co-prosecutor. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le co-procureur. I would like to provide the following response. Je souhaiterais vous présenter la réponse suivante. S21. As when I became the chairman of S21, it was in March 1976. That is the fact. My superior was Sun Sen. In the party rank, he was not an ordinary party member. He was a, mem a candidate member of the standing committee. He was the seventh person in the party rank. 
comité permanent, c'était le numéro document 7 du parti. Le document d'octobre 1975, Pol Pot a signé lui comme le responsable pour le général staff. De responsable de l'état-major, donc responsable de la sécurité. In the execution of the work at the S21, my superiors always said the S21 duty is not the duty to conduct espionage, but it's the, the anti-espionage duty. So that is the duty of the S21, and this is for you, the Mr. Co-Prosecutor. De la création de S21. The co-prosecutor. What about the following or the subsequent works during your role as the chairman of S21? Do you clearly understand the role or the purpose, the actual or the characteristic of the S21 office? What is the characteristic? Of the, for the establishment of the S21 office, do you really understand the characteristics of that office? De ce bureau? Some are the accused. accused. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. I would like to provide the following response. Ma réponse est la suivante. The history of the S21 is divided into two parts. The first part is when I was a deputy, and before I came to that office, it was the, the history of the purchase of the old former regime officials and military personnel. And from the time I took control as the chairman, I believe the uh, co-prosecutor have an important document already. It is the decision made on the 30th of March 76. It's about the internal and external purchase which was assigned to the four important groups of cadres who has the right to make such decision. That is amongst the four groups. When a decision is made, was made to smash, then other security offices or units had to make the arrest and to send to the security office to arrest, to detain, to torture and to smash. It had to happen, and nobody dared to object the decision of these four groups. If somebody opposed, somebody would be punished. So let me recall that S21, when I became the chairman of that office, I, the upper echelon, issued that document, and from that day, then the S21 had a duty to conduct the internal purchase, and amongst the four groups, let me tell you, one is the secretary of the zone committees. There were seven zones. Second, the chairman of the office of the uh, of the central office, that is the office 870, and third is the standing the central standing committee, which needs to be which for the purchase of the uh, of the committee, and the fourth one is for the smashing within the internal parties rank of the general uh, zone. So those documents and also the surviving documents show from the day I became the chairman of the S21, it had no further duty of purchase of the former Republic uh, regime officers, but it was the internal uh, purchase that has to be conducted. Parmi les membres des, euh, du régime précédent, mais il s'agit bien by de uh, le co-prosecuteur. Uh, my uh, uh, 
question uh, as the following. Uh, during the investigation uh, stage, you denied that S21 uh, never make any arrest. But in, in the hearing stage, it seemed to, to me that you uh, recognized that uh, there was uh, arrest made at S21. For example, the arrest of Chum Sum Aung alias Pang that made in uh, your house. Is it true? Uh, who, votre domicile. Uh, who were the victim, who was the key victim of uh, the arrest at your house at that time? Concerné lors de l'arrestation. Uh, thank you, uh, de Mr. Prosecutor, uh, that uh, you asked this procureur. question to me uh, uh, so far. We have a discussion Juste during the investigation uh, stage because the concept of the arrest is not uh, the same. It's the, the provision, the conception of the arrest was not the same. La conception de uh, the pas uh, la même. office of the co-prosecutor, uh, you said that uh, the arrest is uh, the decision made by S21 and uh, did the arrest. This is the point that I deny. Avec if uh, you are talking about the uh, four groups who made decisions and S21 was just the one who implemented the, uh, the decision le to keep it secret, L'objectif était de mettre en œuvre la décision uh, so de maintenir dans control, le secret and ce so qui se passe. The victim must be detained. This is true. Juan Koi Tun, second was a chum sum out alias Pang. S21 was the same as at the security office. Uh, that uh, they uh, perform their duty uh, following the, de the decision made by the four groups. So, uh, the conclusion that uh, we do not understand uh, one another about the concept of the term. Et donc, il est ici question de problème de compréhension uh, du concept uh, thank utilisé. You. Le coprocureur intervient. Je vous remercie. Uh, the following questions. Uh, uh, when you became the chairman of S21, you, you uh, replied that uh, uh, no, no one uh, was sent to S21 without any agreement or uh, authorization from Sunsen. So it means that you, you knew everything uh, about all the victims who were sent to S21, among, uh, among other things, uh, you denied that you know anything about the arrest of the professor from France named Peng Ton. You deny that you know that. Is that true? Uh, the accused, uh, your uh, Mr. Co Prosecutor, I would like to keep this matter uh, when we are talking about uh, Professor Peng Ton with the uh, civil party uh, who were the youngest, uh, uh, the oldest uh, daughter of the uh, professor. The prosecutor just would like to know, uh, did you know it or not? Uh, yes, I agree, the accused. I, uh, I wrote in uh, the books. Uh, in relation to Peng Su Country, I, uh, that's the matter I uh, did not know. Uh, he was my uh, teacher. I uh, did not know. Uh, I would like to keep this for a detailed discussion when we uh, come to that matter. And the president. Um, Le président, uh, Mr. Uh, prosecutor, uh, please uh, try to uh, make your question uh, more specific uh, so that uh, the facts we are de uh, hearing was uh, the establishment of S21 and uh, the Kmao's uh, prison, and uh, we have no limitation on the Kmao because uh, we are not hearing further 
uh, about the operation of uh, Tecma prison and we would like Notre to know uh, which one uh, existed uh, first in uh, comparing to S21 because uh, Tecma prison was uh, the legacy, legacy of um, Division 703 and uh, the establishment after the uh, establishment of S21 um, the detainee and uh, prisoner were uh, transferred from that prison to S21. So uh, the hearing of uh, these facts uh, were connected uh, with the, uh, the establishment of S21 and Tecma prison. So if um, uh, the co-prosecutor um, uh, do not remember that well it may be you come to the policy or the operation of the, uh, uh, the security office and it is the uh, complicated and the uh, uh, tremendous uh, facts um, and we have an uh, the arrest the uh, transportation the detention and the smash uh, these are the facts uh, during uh, the operation operation of S21. Uh, the co-prosecutor, thank you, uh, the trial chamber, uh, who reminded me about that. Another question uh, in relation to the training, um, uh, which the trial chamber uh, questioned you and you responded to those questions. Uh, the co-prosecutor just would like to know the nature of that training. So what were the training used in that training session? Uh, we would like to uh, talk about about Nous what is the nature or the characteristic, the content the of the uh, material, was it about the, the security, who were uh, the trainers uh, uh, when you were uh, in Phnom Penh for the training uh, on the date that you uh, questioned by the chamber and you provide the response to the, the chamber. You have interrogated this subject by the chamber and you have provided a certain number of responses in front of the chamber. The accused. Uh, I would like to tell the co-prosecutor as the following. In relation to the training, I was trained by my superior every year uh, in the political training sessions. Uh, in each session, there were three types of documents presented. It was the political uh, documents, documents uh, the psychological documents, documents and the assignment uh, documents. documents. And mission. after the presentation, as I uh, told your honor, Judge uh, uh, Lowens, uh, there, there were discussion in the group so that we can understand well uh, the content of the document and then we uh, produce the revolutionary biography and the revolutionary uh, lifestyle so that we can learn and uh, this session uh, conducted once a year. And after that training, after uh, a number of cadres were sent to uh, for training at the general staff. It was not with uh, Sonsein, but uh, with uh, Comrade uh, Saum. Uh, he was the assistant to the general staff. And as for uh, me, uh, we uh, conducted a training to those cadres who were not sent to, to the general staff. Uh, those training sessions were conducted every year. It is called a political training session for uh, every year. In addition to that, I uh, conducted a training on how to interrogate uh, at the beginning of the establishment of S21. I had the former combatant and uh, the combatant from uh, Division 703 on interrogation. Uh, I saw one of the comrades who, who took note 
key uh, it is the book of statistics of uh, security matter of s21 but actually it was uh, my uh, the document that i uh, presented about the uh, politics and the uh, how to interrogate the book was uh, binding uh, in a proper manner uh, but the comrade was uh, this is now it's maybe in the one um, poly of S21. And later I conducted a short session, a short session training, and the, uh, the one who took all the notes was uh, Brother Mom Nai. And uh, those documents provided to me by the co investigating churches at the end, uh, those were the contents that I. Uh, taught to those uh, cadre in, uh, interrogators. Um, those uh, presentations were based on my frequent meetings with the senior. Uh, the, si uh, the, the superior uh, gave me uh, advice and recommendation, and I followed that. And uh, to uh, sum up, uh, this document is uh, it, it's, uh, uh, focused mainly on the um, uh, proletarian uh, class and the uh, dictatorship uh, class in the proletarian class and of the revolution and these are the criminal uh, uh, kind of uh, documents uh, teaching people to do a certain way of uh, the crime. Uh, the prosecutor, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Kankek as you are well aware of uh, that uh, S21 one uh, containing uh, building A, B, C, D. Les a, B, C, uh, D. You indicated on uh, the uh, the map on indiqué. the slide, and uh, uh, there was one of the build, uh, two of the building B and C. Uh, individual cells uh, were constructed. Uh, so when were those individual cells were uh, built and who did that uh, building or construction of the, uh, the cell and who made the decision or authorized uh, the construction of those uh, individual cells and you said that uh, there were uh, the big hall to detain uh, many prisoners and there was a a building where a detainee uh, kept in the individual cells. Et lieu où étaient détenus des the accused. De détenus, et puis vous avez parlé de cellules individuelles où étaient détenus les prisonniers de manière isolée. L'accusé. Uh, your uh, honor and Mr. Prosecutor, Monsieur, when the superior Monsieur, decided uh, Monsieur, Monsieur to Monsieur order Monsieur, me to use the Pernier Yard High School to be the detention uh, facility, uh, I was a bit proud uh, at that time. And then I ordered Comrade Hoare to build uh, the individual cells. And then uh, uh, Mr. Prosecutor know that uh, uh, Comrade Ho used to be a prisoner uh, and he, he knew well about the individual uh, cell and uh, Comrade Ho agreed to me that yes, I decided, uh, I made that decision and I ordered Comrade Ho to build uh, those and um, I did not report to the uh, upper echelon, it was my independent, independent authority to make decisions uh, on my day to day work. Yes, that's all. Qui avait pris la décision de construire ces cellules individuelles. Je vous remercie. C'est tout pour ce qui est de ma The prosecutor, le uh, you uh, often uh, indicated to the trial chamber Ça about the interrogation. Uh, when uh, S21 was an uh, establishment, there were a uh, cold group, there's a hard group, and a chewing group, and a female uh, interrogator. So can you tell us about the structure and the formula for interrogation? What were they? Um, what were the steps uh, for interrogating uh, uh, the prisoners? You also 
mentioned in uh, in document D20 as the minutes of uh, record of interview uh, you said in details in that uh, uh, before the co-investigating judges uh, at this time uh, can you tell uh, to the trial chamber about the uh, formula or the methods of uh, interrogation of uh, the prisoner uh, at uh, the moment when you are working there? The accused. Uh, the president, uh, Mr. François Roux, uh, do you have any uh, thing uh, to raise at this point in time? Merci. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je crois que Monsieur le Procureur est encore une fois un peu en avance sur le calendrier. Pour l'instant, la Chambre n'est pas venue dans le détail des méthodes de torture. On s'est contenté de regarder l'organigramme. Et là, Monsieur le Procureur pose des questions qui ne font pas partie de, de notre audience d'aujourd'hui. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President, the observation made by the Defense Council is appropriate. The accused doesn't have to answer the questions by the co-prosecutor, and the co-prosecutor is reminded that the questions shall only be raised regarding the establishment of the S21 office and the Dagma prison at the former psychiatric hospital. So please uh, bear that in mind. And I have already reminded this matter early during the early morning. So please uh, stick to this line of questioning for the relevant facts. And the Chamber will not allow questions on other facts. The Prosecutor, thank you, uh, Your Honours, for reminding us. The prosecution only would like to inquire about the establishment and the, the establishment of the interrogation team. This is what we all want to ask about. We do not want to ask details on the torture, for instance. Next question. At the S21 office, there was a photographer's team, as you have mentioned, to the chamber. And you also stated that uh, photographs, the photographers were those from the uh, Division 703, and the photography equipment were the war sports from the Lunar Regime, and you used those equipment. And the question is, subsequently, those photographers teamed, were they trained or received any further or additional training? during the establishment and the operation of the S-21? The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I would like to make the following response regarding the camera or the photography equipment. There were many photography equipment at Psat Mai, so the Division 703 got many of them and distributed two to S21 through NAT, both the cameras and the films. And the, about the photographers of S21, Camera Triang went for a, a, a training with the photographer from the Division 703. And later on, they, they trained amongst themselves. They did not receive any other additional training elsewhere. That is my soft response to you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Kang Yeo. And I would like to give the floor to my colleague to ask you some further questions. Thank you, Mr. President. 
the president, uh, the co-prosecutor, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm going to try, Mr. Kankek Yu, to ask you some very short questions. And I hope it would be of great assistance to the trial chamber if you listen to my questions and responded as briefly as you can to only those questions. Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to ask you about your request in May 1975 to be transferred away from security and into industry. You have told us you made your request to Cheng An, the secretary of Sector 15. That is correct so far. Yes? So, the accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I would like to state that what uh, you have raised is completely appropriate and correct. The fact of the matter at the time is that I wanted to go away from the security work. First, I reported that I wanted to go away from the security work in 73 when the prisoners revolted and took the guns. I, under the pretext of that, and I asked Brother Vaughan that I be released from such work. And later on, in, on the 30th of April, I sent the rest to Sector 32 as I was ordered to do so. And when I was free, I came to wait for the assignments and I met Brother Cheng On at the time. At that time, I really wanted to be away from the security office. I wanted to be with the industry with Brother Cheng On. That is the fact. I made a request, but the superior did not agree or approve. I would like to state that on the date of the presentation on the establishment establishment of S21, Sun Sen said, and probably to uh, consolidate me, uh, you stay with the security, and then I stay with the military. And that was the end of it. That's what the superior said, and I did not dare to protest. It was extremely difficult. So in, in conclusion, I thank you, the co-prosecutor, that I honestly wanted to run away and go to the industry. That is, that is it. Thank you. So let me understand exactly what you said to Cheng An, who was your superior in the party. Did you say to him, I don't want to work in security, I don't like it. Or did you say to him, I don't like having to give orders to kill people. Tell us what you told Mr. Cheng An. The accused, uh, Mr. Co Prosecutor. In a Khmer language, there is a proverb. Is it necessary for somebody to peel the crab to show the shit of the crab? I dare not to report to Brother Jay on that Donc I hated the security work. I said that I wanted to really work with you at the industry. I and Jay on had an, our mutual understanding. I trusted him and he trusted me back. As I have reported to Judge Lavench yesterday, he trusted me, he had a confidence of me. As I was a sincere dog to him. 
So in a response, when I talked to Donc, my superior, réponse, I did not dare to, to, to open the crab and show the shit inside the crab. Fait, Even with Brother Vaughn, I did not dare to say that I hated the security lui, work. I told him that I made a mistake so you can punish me and you can get me Donc, away en from en fait, the security uh, office. Uh, this is uh, my clarification voilà to you, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Yes, thank you. So, as I understand it, it was more by way of a suggestion to be transferred to industry than a request to be transferred out of security because you didn't like it. That's, I've understood it correctly, have I? The accused. Mr. Co-Prosecutor. I do not uh, clearly understand the detail of your questions, but what I said was Honestly, from my heart, the industry of Mr. O'Brien Chang On was under the supervision of uh, Von Veit. And as for the security work, at that time it was not fully uh, in shape yet, but it was partly under the supervision of Son Sen. Before the 17th April, especially before the 30th of April, I was under the supervision of Sun Sen. However, Brother Chen On also had a duty as a secretary of the branch, of my branch. Therefore, I requested to him to, to work for him. It was my request to him. And it did not particularly say that I hated the security work. I only said that I would like to work for you at the industry when the, when the ministry was newly created. And this is my response to you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. But what do you tell us in court is that in fact you were very reluctant to perform your duties as a security cadre. My question is, did your direct superior Son Sen know about your reluctance to work in security? The accused. I would like to inform the co-prosecutor that in some duties my superior understood it, had a grasp about it. So he had a skill in his uh, pedagog uh, pedagogy and he understood the uh, emotions very well. So most of the time I did not hide anything from him, but I believed my superior understood the weak points that I had. He knew my weak points, for instance, that I was afraid to kill people, that I they are not to torture people, but he also knew my strong points. So I did not dare to report to him on this um, uh, matter, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. I dare not to open up a crap in order to show its shit. Let me put it another way, one final time. Can you confirm that you didn't tell Anybody directly that you hated security work and you were reluctant to work, reluctant to do it. I've understood that correctly, have I? The 
the accused. Accusé. Mr. Co. Prosecutor, even Mr. if a brother Pon or comrade or si brother Mom I did not dare to tell them. Même le frère Pon ou Brother Mine, je n'osais pas leur dire. So these are two separate things. Uh, their Donc, work is their work. Choses, my duty is my duty. Ils leur travail et moi, j'avais mon devoir. So, now we have established that you hated your work, but you did not specifically tell anyone that you hated your work. And my next question, did you have any interest in security work at all? Did it fascinate you, for example? The accused. This is a very broad question. To let me attempt uh, to respond as following. The security work, as I am aware of it, is dealing in injustice in the arrest and the detention of people, as I have repeatedly said. La justice et l'arrestation. The interrogation, for example, if it has to be conducted in detail si properly, then the truth in the confession is probably only 50 percent. That is the most, 50 percent is the truth. Des aveux qui sont, this is based uh, on my experience that ça, I tried to interrogate Nguyen Sambon for over one month, uh, mois. but there were a lot of lies. For, for instance, Nguyen Sambon, alias Rompe, told me Nguyen that his superior was Bang San. I did not believe him. I knew Rompe went to study, but uh, his superior was not uh, Dang San. And talking about the name today was completely different. Lam Sia, Meng Lam Peng Sia. Some of them are still alive. But based on the response, they were sent to Omlian. So in conclusion, I uh, observed that the confession was not correct, and I repeatedly pas, said uh, pas about a, a Chinese film. It was an anti-espionage film by the China, uh, and that's for the interrogation cadre to consider it. But Cambodia um, do, did not Cambodge take into consideration the political side, the, the, the scientific science in dealing their work, and they were forced to work. They knew the confession was not correct, and the, the people who were implicated, there were many of them. This is what we knew, but we could not avoid not doing it. And after we talk about that, then uh, Uncle Noon said they knew how to do their work. Therefore, the surviving documents, the document, especially the document dated the 9th October 75, the standing, it was the decision of the standing committee that I raised yesterday. When Brother Paul, that is Paul Pot, talked about uh, Comrade Mien, Chan Chakray, do not believe the security. Let me talk about only the party rank. That's what he said. So then the prosecutor might see the problem here. In conclusion, the security work or the Santibal work spread. For example, the, the illegal arrest is an issue that I came to receive the punishment to receive. Here, before the chamber, that is the illegal arrest, either illegal or legal arrest. 
Let me return back to my response to you. S21 smash members of the standing committees of the full rights committee, for example, Brother Vaughan, the standing committee member, and the standing committee member, Stu Chiet. I did not think this is the credit truth of the S21 to the nation. This is the, the problem of double cross. En fait, so, un... it's different from when the S21 arrested the innocent people, for example, Brother Rod Good, the doctor, or Chao Saint. This is different. So, S21 is in a confusing state because it's just an instrument of the proletarian class of the party. I am just their absolute dictatorial instrument of the party. And this is why I bow myself before the chamber and before the nations to accept my guilt. Let me put my question very simply. Did you or did you not find security work interesting? Simple question. The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, I was not interested in the security work. I aimed to be a teacher. I came to uh, Phnom Penh to collect those books, the teacher training books. I also collected uh, some instruments, and then my superior laughed. So my interest was in teaching, but not with this uh, work, this line of work. This is my response to you. In the summer of 1975, let's say June, July, August 1975. Had you heard of a man by the name of Alan Dulles? The accused, I never heard of that name. Uh, please uh, describe uh, the background of that man, please. Me. He was the former director of the American CIA, Alan Dulles. Yes, I understand. I uh, read the books uh, Alan uh, Dulles. Next question. Are you aware that he wrote a book uh, which in English is called The Craft of Intelligence, but in French the translation is, and I'll speak in French, Les Techniques du Renseignement. My question is, did you have or read a copy of this book before you started work at S21? The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, the uh, book of uh, technical of uh, teaching, I uh, collected two books. Uh, one, I uh, uh, gave it to my uh, superior son Sin, but I keep one copy, but I uh, do not have time to read. Uh, in the meantime, I found in a book, but uh, at uh, one saw resident, uh, maybe. It was about KGB. I uh, did not keep it. it only one copy, but I uh, gave it to the superior. Yes, uh, we did have book, but I did not uh, read those books. So you were collecting books before you started work at S21. One of those books was on the CIA. 
And one of those books was on the KGB. And you were telling us that you didn't read either of them. They weren't interesting to you. Is, is, that, is that correct? Have I understood it correctly? The accused. Yes, it is true. I was not interested. Along the law so wrote about uh, the one who takes the information, if uh, you fail, you will be cursed from everywhere. Yeah. This is one of the points. When I read that, I did not interested si it, even though the uh, President Eisenhower, uh, si le, le who even uh, Eisenhower, the President, uh, try to find the office of uh, CIA of Alain de, de so I don't think it is uh, helpful for me, but the KGB books, it is uh, the technical for uh, teaching by Alain de Lossa. And I report to the Et superior, and uh, I send uh, them uh, uh, the book there. And the, the work I did there did not allow me to read any book or any information. That answer is a little confusing for me. If you say you didn't read the book by Alan Dulles, how are you able to give us a quote from the book about what he said concerning President Eisenhower? I didn't understand that. The accused. I said earlier, it's on the beginning of the book, in the uh, introduction of the book. I did not finish the book, and I uh, was not interested in it. Along the laws uh, was it is uh, words. Yes, I remember. So when anyone, uh, anyone who uh, failure in collecting information, the people will uh, climb into the roof and then curse you from the roof. You've told us earlier this morning that you found torture books at the old police judiciaire. Can you tell us what those books contained? The accused. Uh, I did not even read uh, that book. I just Je read uh, a bit in the livre. book, the beginning, and Je then another part. It was about uh, the Pope. Qui du and pope. the Pope said that in that book, uh, if we uh, beat uh, one victim livre, and he implicate another person, if we make the fall arrest, who will be responsible for that fall arrest? And then I uh, uh, keep the book away. Uh, to, to be honest, I don't have the time to read at that time. And I would like to tell you that I like to collect uh, books, even though uh, they were from China, uh, written by Lenin. I had did not uh, finish my reading about uh, the communism theory. Yes, there were books there. I read a little bit uh, on the book uh, about the Leninism. It's the uh, works of Stalin. I remember uh, only that phrase. Yes, I did read that because I, I had no time. I spent most of the day to work. I don't have any time. I didn't have any time to read. Uh, the president, now it is time for us to break for lunch, and the trial chamber adjourned for for lunch uh, until uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, and the uh, uh, security official uh, take uh, the uh, accused to the uh, detention facility and bring him back uh, before 1.30 uh, this afternoon.